So the award for best short film goes to James Murphy and Dan Yell Bromley. Yeah, I don't think we ever really thought we could win because there were so many like dramatical, emotional films. Um, so yeah, to get recognition for it is really great. Um, and thanks to everyone who got involved, and thanks to Emma, who we wouldn't have been able to do it without her. Yeah. So. Um. Um, basically, what he said. <laughs> I think you said it all, really. Well done. Making a film is not a simple task. It requires effort, devotion and a passion for work. Yet that's exactly what a devoted cast and crew have been attempting to do for the past several months here at the world-renowned Universally Studios in Exeter, Devon. Not to be confused, of course, with Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. But how do you make a successful film? We're going to uncover this process in The Making of the Pirates of the British Isles. The mastermind behind the film is writer and director Jack Daniels. Before you ask, no relation. Ask what? The name, Jack Daniels. It's ironic because I don't even drink, so... Which is more challenging, writing or directing? Um, neither. Neither is a challenge to me. I, it's like going to the toilet. It's a natural excretion of creativity. You haven't won an award as of yet. Do you think there's a Whoa, reason? whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Rewind. <laughs> Let's back it up a second. Hold your horses. Dakota Jane. I never asked to win an award. I don't want to win an award. I mean, if, if someone's going to give me one, then I'll take it, you know? If the Queen's going to knight me, I'm not going to slap her in the face. And if we are going by your little award system, then yeah, I've won an award. Uh, what award is that? The Kellogg's Film Award. So... Uh, what was that for? On the back of the box it said send in your film and you win an award. I won. Was Came that, in the post. Was that for adults? What? So I'm not under 15? Shoot me! Jesus Christ, I'm done here. We're here! Drop the anchor! Oh no, it's snowing! Today the team is filming one of the most complex scenes of the film. It requires everyone's full attention, and ever at the foreground, Jack is keen to have his input. This is, this is a stool, it's not... Listen, listen, li look, look at this, what's this supposed to be? It's your director's chair. A chair? Is this a chair? Is this what a chair looks like to you? Uh, I, I think... Look how pathetic this looks! What, what, Can what, I direct what? from here? Really? Get out of... Well, he is quite a challenging man to We're work with, fun. but he is a director and I'm the actor, so... If he wants me to put a simple line with very strong emotion, then I will, because this could be my big breakthrough. Rising star John Blackbird is taking his role in the production very seriously. Being a traditional actor, he takes the time to explore the depths of his character. This is by far the biggest role he has encountered, and he is making sure to seize the opportunity. Well, yes, I've always been into theatre productions. I was in a school production of Alice in Wonderland when I was at school. I played the bush, so well, I didn't have any lines, but, well, I was a bush. <laughs> Since then, I've been in numerous theatre productions, including The Man and His Guinea Fowl, Marsh Mallets Made of Love, and The Life and Times of Peter Andre. I was Peter Andre, and after that, I realised that I need to be something bigger, and so I engaged in this enterprise. Have you experienced any fame yet? Been stopped in the street? No. <clears throat> but I'm a serious actor. Husband and wife, Helen and Roger Baker, are two of Britain's leading special effects artists. I told you, you pick up all of the snow, why it's on the ground, why are you taking I'm so long? Up now. Roger, Roger, look at me, look at me. You can't do anything right, for heaven's sake. Uh, so we, uh, we are just uh, replaced the uh, green screen with the boat and uh, wah! <laughs> Drop the anchor. Oh no, we waited, it's snowing! The thing is, I sort of, I wanted it like, you know, like Titanic, you know, but not Titanic. You know, with the pipes, 
Um, the pipes would be good. Do you have pipes? That might be sort of difficult. No pipes. The instruments we have. We don't have pipes. I'm sorry. What do you have? Um, okay, let me see. Um, we have two triangles. Okay. And a piano. Oh, well. But the pianist is away. What other film scores have you composed? Oh, well, it's mainly contemporary modern art films, you know, very avant-garde stuff. Uh, most recently, I have been working on a short film called Cucumbers. It's just magnificent, if I say so myself. Um, I can play a clip, if you'd like. Wait a second. How did you... Did, did Is it a... You were saying? Uh, coming up with the score for this film was quite difficult, wasn't it? Oh, well, yes, it was incredibly difficult. We had to push the boundaries of music to places that nobody else had even seen. We were creating sounds that nobody else had ever experienced. It was an incredible, incredible adventure. And so, I ended up with this. Excuse me. finished the production of uh, the original Pirates of the British Isles. It's, it's done. Um, yeah, but I think you should remember the name Jack Daniels because uh, <laughs> I think you're going to be hearing a lot more about me. I, don't, I think it's a mixture of our senses of humour, because, yeah. um, I don't know, and like past mockumentaries, stuff like, um... French and Saunders. Yeah, that was the first main one. That's the thing that I think our film reminds me of, um, the making of documentary that French and Saunders had done, um, like a rip-off of the Titanic, um, supposedly sort of behind the scenes, and it reminds me a bit of that. And stuff like but The Office. Yeah, stuff that they've done yeah. is similar to that. Yeah, I think um, we, it needed more planning than we thought because we just sort of went into it and filmed like, I don't know, there were moments when we wanted to get editing when we were filming and vice versa. And also I think when you come down to editing it as well and then you have to, you just have a mass of clips and you have to try and organise them and it's more difficult, even though it's only a short film, you have just loads and loads of different clips and you have to try and find the right one and it's really difficult. And we had like this idea that we'd have different characters and then it was just a combination of us both saying that we wanted a director and I think I said that he should definitely be American. Yeah, he started as very pretentious and a bit Johnny Depp like that yeah. and then he became... Oh yeah, with the hat. Yeah. And then it became just really, and then like just over time it just kind of developed. Um, and then w when we had in mind people that we wanted to play them as well, they sort of developed a bit more. Yeah. I like that. But also being in control. I like the fact that we kind of like, it's your thing and you watch it develop and then I think... Yeah, and moments where you have to say, is this like, the character's going to be like this or like this. I quite like that, working out who they are and how yeah. they react in the situation.